and why not willing to do so be willing to do what is necessary this course focuses on goals it really helps build the foundation of only not the rest of this 12 part course but also the rest of your life it really sets you in the right direction and helps you accomplish whatever goals you seek to finish you cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to find your direction, put you on the right path to getting those goals finished. Because without direction, how are you going to get to where you want to go? About why is goal setting so important? What have you heard about the importance of goals or setting goals? Well, today I'd like to take you through three distinct reasons that goals are important for your life and why you should be setting them. Number one, goals help you design your future. You want to have control over your life. You want to be the designer of your own life. Now, how many of you remember Alice in Wonderland? And she wasn't sure. The Cheshire Cat responded by saying, well, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. What can you take from that quote? If you don't have a clear direction, if you're not working on your goals and you don't know where you're going, you're really not going to go very far. At least you're not going to go where you were hoping to go. Number two, goals pull you through the hard times. Now, we all have our aspirations for the future. When we set these goals and we run into obstacles, Looking at these goals, being clear on these goals, and especially knowing why we set these goals will help us continue through these obstacles. All too often, people quit when things get hard. It's inevitable that you will face difficulty and self-doubt on your struggle to success. Goals will help you remember what you're doing and why you're doing it. And number three, goals can transform your life. And this is truer than you may think. Once you're clear on where you want to go in life and you're clear on all of the goals that you've set, then you find direction and you really start going down that path at an accelerated speed. You start accomplishing one, two or three goals. You build your confidence. And then the next thing you know, you've built this momentum that's going to keep pushing you further down the road towards success. Okay, are you ready? The first question that I have for you are, what are five things you've already accomplished that you're proud of? Do you want to accomplish bigger things? Well, most likely yes, because why else would you be taking this course, right? What do you want? What do you want in the next 10 years? A smart list. And what does that mean? Well, you might have guessed the S-M-A-R-T stand for something. Let's go through what those are. S stands for specific, and this is very important. Whatever your goal is, you want to make sure that it's clearly written and not vague. You want to be detailed. For example, don't say something like, I want more money. Well, if I gave you a dollar, congratulations, you got more money. If you want more money, specifically, how much do you want? If you want to be more skilled, what specific skill do you want? What degree or level do you want? Next is M. M stands for measurable. State how much and how often. How will you judge your success? you got to be specific and it needs to be something that can be measured. So when you're writing your goals, how will you know when you accomplish those specific goals? A stands for achievable. This means be realistic. Make certain it's realistic and you can get the resources that are needed. Now you don't want things to be too easy. Easy goals are achievable, but they're not satisfying. You want to challenge yourself. Whatever goals you set, have goals that will challenge you. It's that challenge that makes the accomplishment that much better. R is relevant. Relevant means that each goal should help make a significant improvement in your life. Again, let's use the uh, make more money example. Whatever specific and measurable amount of money you've put down, how will that make a difference in your life? 
if you put down a specific skill that you would like, how is that going to make a significant improvement in your life? If you want to own something, how is owning this thing going to make a significant improvement in your life? And finally, T, that's time bound. There should always be a due date. There should be some approximate completion date. There should be some research and realistic time frame because if there isn't a due date, then it sort of doesn't really exist. Giving yourself a deadline is going to push you more toward accomplishing that goal. I want you to count. How many ones, threes, fives, and tens do you have? Again, push pause real quick. Count the number. Go for it. Now, if you have a larger amount, a significantly larger amount of ones compared to tens, what does that tell you? It, can you take the time and write down one, two, three, four sentences for each of these five goals? Can you clearly state why each of these goals is important to you? As clearly as possible, write down why are these five goals important to you? There's a quote that I want you to remember, and here it is on your screen. When the why gets stronger, the how gets easier. The why pulls you toward the future, and that pull becomes stronger and quicker towards reaching your goals. There's only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. Well, fear five things in this order. Number one, take responsibility. Two, identify the cause. Three, evaluate your thinking. Four, research it. And five, document it. Let's go throughout each of these in a little bit more detail. He said, you must take responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons, or the wind, but you can change yourself. Lou Holtz, quote unquote, the man who complains about the way the ball bounces is likely to be the one who dropped it. And number three, George Washington Carver. 99% of all failures come from people who have a habit of making excuses. Don't make excuses. Don't complain. Own your failure. Ask these questions. Were my goals reasonable and attainable? Did I make a mistake in setting my goals? Did I make accurate assumptions about my capabilities and the challenges? Did I make a mistake in judging the situation? Did my strategies make sense, given the circumstances and goals? Did I make a mistake in charting my course and choosing my methods? How logically organized, feasible, and complete was my plan? Did I make a mistake in creating the plan? And did my team, colleagues, friends, or just myself, did I follow the plan? Did I make a mistake in execution? All of these are really important questions to ask and to answer. Cause of that failure. What led up to that failure? The decisions that were made, how others have approached similar problems, and you have some advice from others? Then put it all on paper in a logical and organized format. This can be a great resource for you later 